Hello everyone, this is Vernon Martin from the Philosophy Department. This is the first of three short video tutorials to help you get your Blackboard courses into Canvas. The three tutorials, Moving Files, Moving Pages, and then Moving Quizzes, Exams, will show you how to get the bulk of your instructional material into your new Canvas course. In this tutorial, Moving Files, you'll learn how to move your files from a particular Blackboard course, all of the files associated with that course, and upload them into your Canvas course all at once. Files are objects. So let me go to an example of that, of how I've got this set up in my course. This is a page in Blackboard where I've got images, I've got external links, I've got links to, this is a link to a PDF document. I have links to PowerPoint lecture notes. And what I want to do is I want to be able to grab all of the files associated, not just with this page and not just with this learning unit, but all files associated with this entire course uploaded into Canvas at once. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. First thing you need to do is to have your browser open and have at least two tabs open. The one tab is going to be your source course in Blackboard. The other tab is going to be your target course in Canvas. I'm using Google Chrome. And the way you open a new tab in Chrome is this little box here. Clicking on that will open up a new tab. OK, so go to your Blackboard course. And towards the bottom area, in the control panel, course management area, I want you to look for files and click on the little chevron icon next to the word files. What will drop down is a name of your course. That's a clickable name. So click on that. And now what will open up in a new window is a list of files associated with this course. Scroll to the bottom. You may have several uh, pages. This is one of four for me. Scroll to the bottom and look for a button that says Show All. Click on that button and that will make all of these files located on a single page. So now I don't have one of four, I just have one. And there they all are. So these are all the files associated with this particular Blackboard course. Now Take a few minutes and look through your files and delete any that you no longer need. So for instance, in the uh, look at this file here. This is a uh, image that's titled Thinking. I've got it here and then I've got a duplicate here. So I can go ahead and check this box and delete that file. It's going to ask me a few times to make sure that's really what I want to do. And that's deleted. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we bring over to Canvas all of our necessary necessary files, but not bring over a bunch of files that are duplicates or unnecessary. Things like old syllabi, old study guides, and things like that, I don't want to bring over. That's just going to make organizing my files in Canvas later on much more difficult. So at this point, take a few minutes and look through your files and delete any that you no longer need or that are unnecessarily duplicated. And if you don't have these files copied on another drive somewhere outside of Blackboard, this is your chance to download and save these. Pause the video here to get your file list cleaned up and or appropriately saved if needed, and then come back and join me for how to upload all of these into your Canvas course. Okay, now that we are back and our uh, list of files are all cleaned up, and we're still in show all mode. Actually, let me get back to that. Show all. There we go. I want to look for the box next to the phrase file type and check that. That's going to check all of the files associated with this course. Next, Right above that is a button called Download Package. Click on that and wait for that to download. It's going to be a zip file and this might take some time. 
the default folder for Chrome, I believe, is the downloads folder. And you'll be able to see that and find that if you uh, click on the little area to the right here and then click on show in folder. So I'll come back to this when it's completely downloaded and then I'll show you how to upload it into Canvas. All of my files have been downloaded into a zip folder into my downloads folder. So now I go over into my Canvas course by clicking on that other tab. So now I'm in my Canvas course where I want to upload all of the files. I want to look for the settings tab on the left hand side of the course menu. Click on settings. And then on the right hand pane over here, you'll see another tab that says import content into this course. Click on that tab. And now in the center, look for the link that says import files and then in parentheses, if any. So I'm hovering over that with my cursor now. Import files, click on that. Then find the Choose File tab here that I'm hovering over. Click Choose File. And it uh, goes to my Downloads folder. Here's the file I want. Double click that. And then click Upload. And this is the progress indicator. As it says, uploading and processing your zip file. If there are a lot of files in the zip file or it is very large, this may take a while. So what we need to do is wait a little bit and then come back to it and your files will be there. There's just a couple more steps and you'll be done. Okay, it just completed. It went through a couple of steps. The progress bar finished out and it told me it was completed. So my next step is to click on the tab here that says I'm done importing back to the course. It has a little check next to it. Click on that. And now let's go see our files. On the left hand side, course menu, click on the tab that says files. And here listed will be all of the files that you just imported from Blackboard. Now, oh, I've already created some folders here. You can do that by clicking on add a folder and give it a name. I'll just enable the, uh, label this new folder. And now what I can do is I can drag and drop these files and organize these in a way. You can always rename these whenever you hover over an item and a little pencil icon shows up. That means you can rename it. So maybe I want this to be images or something like that. Of course, I have that here, but you get the idea. So this will help you uh, find these files a lot quicker when you start organizing your course in Canvas. After you've imported your files, go through the list and make sure that they're all there. And if you need to, you can always upload uh, files individually through this area here. Again, we're on the Files page, which can be found through the Files tab over here. And you can upload uh, files by simply clicking this uh, link here, Add Files and it will prompt you for those in various folders. You can find those and upload them one at a time. This process just moved the whole batch of files from an entire Blackboard course into Canvas. And now that course is ready to be uh, designed in a way that you want it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at vmartin at sierracollege.edu, and I'll be glad to help.